beautiful. The beautiful one. Let me take the like, comments off. How are you? I'm okay. questions and I can ask you questions. Okay. You can start. All right. I'm going to start. We're going to go back a little bit, though. Are you ready to go back just a little bit? Yeah. All right. But but before I go back, I want to prep, um, not prep you, like, catch everybody up to speed. Catch everybody up. Right. Perfect. Prep you guys to what the conversation's about. So, the problem right now is I've been shopping and out all day. I had four meetings, and then I'm now catching an interview that just came up across my screen. Mm hmm because I follow a former bad girl and a former baddie. Okay. Bad girl Christina mm -mm. did some kind of interview today. I have not, and I put that on my life. God can strike me down right now. I have not seen the interview. I think it just went up and I'm literally clearly outside. I, I really have not had time to watch it, right. but I saw what she posted, which was a mini clip. Mm -hmm. And I'm only going to address the mini clip part. The mini clip part states <clears throat> that she created an executive producer and is a producer of baddies. The only thing I would like to clear up is not one person created baddies except Natalie Nunn. I came to every single one of the bad girls that I felt would be good for OnlyFans back right. in only fans. a year and a half ago. That is not mm -hmm. the same show. This is Baddie's ATL. This is Baddie's South. The show was created by Natalie. I brought it to Tanisha and said, would you like to come on board? She mm -hmm. had a whole nother idea. Her idea was, let's go on vacation and we can do yoga and all of us can be best friends. I said, I don't know if that's even realistic. Right. But right before Baddies ATL started, I brought Tanisha on board. Right. Okay. I brought her on board. Because, mind you, I have the connection with Zeus Network. I brought Baddies to Zeus Network. Not one of these girls has ever sat in an executive producer meeting or a pitch meeting but motherfucking Natalie Nunn. No one but me. No one but me. I then said, maybe I'll bring a few others on board <clears throat> as producers. Right. You guys can help maybe produce the show and give me a little like Produce the show meaning give me ideas. You still never sat in a meeting. Mind you, let me tell you how swanky Natalie is. I knew this was going to happen. So no one knew that we were taking it on the road this year. Even Rocky and all these girls went on mm -hmm. podcasts and yeah, it's going to be Baddies LA. I lied and told everyone, it's Baddies LA. Bitch, it was Baddies South the whole time. If you were an executive producer or you were a producer and you ran this and you knew this, how you didn't know we were going on? How did you not know there was a bus? How did you? This was all Natalie and Zeus. Okay. No one has even been in the Zeus office <laughs> like that let alone on the second floor in a meeting. Right. No one is going to come on to my shit and say, you created shit. No, the fuck you didn't. I brought this shit to Zeus. I sat in unrefundable minutes with Zeus. I brought this shit there. Y'all didn't even know who the remember. was. Y'all bitches was still over there all day long. Let alone were you at the motherfucking Zeus headquarters talking to my boss about a fucking thing with bad girls. None of you. Not one motherfucker but me. I sat in that bitch by myself. And if y'all really want me to be real, at the time... Lemmy, the whole network was like, bad girl sounds cool, but we have, you know, other shows that are similar. I don't need to say the name, but, you know, we can maybe give them a chance. Yeah. I had to do the unlimited meetings, pull the numbers, go back and get all the oh, fuck. Ain't nobody going to come over here. And I promise you, I'm telling you this right now. I don't give a fuck what happens after this. Like, 
Run and tell it. Hold on. Tap, tap, tap. Whatever the fuck they want to tell about Natalie Nunn. Bitch, it don't matter. This is my shit. None of you guys had the fucking flight money to even get to L.A. or to knock on Lemmy Plummer's door and say shit to him. The fuck? That nigga got Diddy on the line. You think he gonna talk to a crackhead? To a motherfucking bitch who ain't shit? Y'all hoes better stop playing with me. Talk about I created shit. I'm the producer. Yo, let me tell you something right now. Y'all bitches can never be me. Y'all hoes can't move like me. Y'all finna stop playing on my motherfucking name. I am the original bad girl. I got the meeting. I brought this shit to Zeus. Yeah. So stop fucking playing with me. Oh, God. It's getting annoying. Um, right. I'm the creator. Bitch, you're a crackhead. Now, Jayla, how would you like to talk about Baddies Season 2? Because the Baddies Season 1 girls already told her story. They said um, she was high every day. We could not understand. So, uh, Jayla, let's fast forward because you were not a part of Baddies Season 1. Respectfully, right. I love you so much for coming on Baddies Season 2. I'm sorry you weren't a part of Project 1. You will continuously be on my, my back. You were a great. You were great. You were amazing. And I would love for you to continue to work with myself. How do you feel about Zeus Network? I love Zeus. You know, I think that Zeus is doing really amazing things. And this is not me just saying this because I'm a part of the network now and because I know all of these people. But even from the outside looking in, how could you just not respect it? How could you not respect a black, a young black man that's still very much tapped into, you know, hip hop culture and black culture taking something like taking his streaming network as far as he has and opening opening up so many doors for so many people whether it's in front of the camera or even behind the camera Lemmy is really doing a 